Here we have my Pandora's box arcade machine that I built from scratch, no plans, made myself. And then I thought, why can't I put Raspberry Pi in it with Retro Pi on and swap between them? And I managed to do it. So if I turn it on, here it comes booting up. So there's my pan Pandora box. And as you can see, all functional. Now, if we want to now play on Retro Pi, on a Raspberry Pi, I've got this little switch over here. Which lights up and Retro Pi will start. Here we go. And then I can select, as you can see, the Pandora is controlling it. And then if I want to switch back to Pandora, I can switch it up and we're straight back on the Pandora. So how did I do that? Well, take that out. In here, I have one of these switch boxes that I bought. Currently it's on port two. So we've got on HDMI input one, I've got the Raspberry Pi, and on HDMI input two, I've got the Pandora. You can put a third one in here. And then the output that side goes to the TV on HDMI 1. Now this is an audio extractor, so it also allows you to plug in a 3.5 mil jack to go to an amp. So the audio from the Pandora will go to the amp, and when it auto switches, the audio from the Raspberry Pi will go to the amp, which means both those speakers have the right sound from the right console. So what actually happens is it defaults to Pandora, which is port two, because it's not getting any power from port one from the Raspberry Pi. And then when you hit that switch, it powers up the Raspberry Pi. And because the Raspberry Pi is powered up, this gets a signal. And because it's in port one, and, and it's actually on port two at the moment, it swaps to port one because that's the priority. So this switch will default to port two when there's no power in port one and then switch to port one when it receives power. Took me a while to figure it out, but it works. These can be bought on Amazon for 15 pounds. The only other thing you need to be aware of is I've used that to plug it into USB to give it a power. And there's the power slot at the bottom. And that's how I've done it. Now I've got another video about how to wire the 12 volt, this 12 volt car switch in and to make sure it illuminates and works properly using the existing Raspberry Pi power adapter, which is there, because I've cut it, cut the lead and, and widened the switch, but you need to do it properly, safely. And if you want it to light up, like this, you need to know how to do that. So watch the other video. So that's how I've done it. Raspberry Pi and Pandora in the same arcade machine using the same joysticks.